In today's story, we cover the murders of the Ryan family. The Ryan family lived in Scarborough, a very diverse city in Ontario, Canada. Susan Ryan and William Ryan were known to be a happy couple. Susan was a housewife who loved gardening and the Blue Jays, while William worked for the Toronto Star and taught fitness classes at the local community center. The couple had four sons, Christopher, who was 42 years old at the time of the murders, Leland, who was 39 years old, Brett, 35, and Alexander, 29. Neighbors reported the family to be normal, happy, and outgoing. All children were almost perfect. They were intelligent and had a very bright future ahead of them. Brett Ryan particularly was known to be a very charismatic young man. He was respectful and kind and was known to be the life of the party. He enjoyed fancier things in life, nice cars, treating his friends and girlfriends with expensive dinners, presents, and parties. He also volunteered for the sick kids' hospital and refereed little league games at the local community center. He was also very smart. He enrolled himself in University of Toronto, which is one of the top universities in the world and often ranks number one in Canada. Brett Ryan had everything going for him. He had a personality that would light up the room. On the other hand, Toronto was going through an odd issue and Toronto police were slowly getting frustrated. There was an old man who was robbing banks in Toronto and nearby areas. He had a grey beard which is why this robber was nicknamed the Bearded Bandit. This man carried random papers with him, had medical bandages on his face and his arm would be in a sling. Once he would approach the teller, he told them that he had a gun under the sling and then he would demand money. This man would go on to rob 14 banks, gaining a total of $28,000 from 2007 to 2008. Finally, the police got their hands on some fingerprints, but there was no match. Upon further investigation, the police figured that the beard was fake and the culprit was a much younger man. This man would be none other than Brett Ryan. He was only caught because he purchased a high quality beard from a costume shop. The police watched him for a few weeks before they saw him get out of his truck in that very beard and walk into TD Canada Bank. He walked up to the teller, but then changed his mind at the last moment. However, the police still captured him as he was caught in that fake beard and bandages and a sling. Soon after, he confessed to all of the robberies. When he was brought before the judge, he stated that he was terribly sorry. He was battling depression, he didn't have any money left, and he didn't want to be a burden to his family. He said that there is no justification for his actions and that he was very sorry. He also promised to get right back on track. The judge told the court that what Brett did was out of character and sentenced him to three years and nine months in prison along with a lifetime ban on weapons. In April of 2010, he had served 15 months and was eligible for day parole. The condition for his early release was that he had to get therapy. The authorities also made one important conclusion. And this was that relationships for him were a major trigger. Because whenever he was in a relationship, he wanted to treat his girlfriends with fancy dinners, gifts, accessories, which in turn would lead to financial stress on Brett. So the condition was that he had to report any romantic relationships to the authorities. Now, this whole situation left his family and his friends in a complete shock. The Brett that they knew would never do anything like this. But nonetheless, everyone supported him through this. Friends and family even wrote letters in Brett's board. After he was released, he enrolled himself in university again to study biophysics. He had a major debt, but he decided to declare bankruptcy and his family agreed to stand by him and support him financially once again. Soon after, in September 2011, he met his fiancée, Kristen. Kristen and Ryan were madly in love, and he even moved in with her in 2013 in a waterfront condo. Soon after, they got engaged. Unfortunately, a year after his father passed away. Other than this sad news, he was kind of on track. Brett graduated university and even found a new job. He finally proposed to Kristen and the couple was set to get married. On the other hand, his mother would often find herself bragging about her son's education, job, waterfront condo, and a successful partner. 
Even though he had a full-time job, he was pushing his mom to give him paid jobs around the house for extra help towards his wedding. Sounds like a normal thing to do, right? Well, the truth was far from what he made it look like. He actually had dropped out of university without graduating. He also lost his new job because his boss found out about his past. After his psychologist pushed him, he decided to tell his mother about the entire truth. Being the woman Susan was, she told Ryan to come clean to Kristen, or she would. And this really scared Ryan. There was no way he was going to tell all this to his fiancée, Kristen. So, Ryan came up with a game plan. We would hope that his game plan was to tell Kristen, but it was far from that. He decided to purchase a crossbow from a supplier and placed it in his mother's garage. He decided that he will go and talk to his mother one last time and if she does not change her mind, he will kill her. He also set up this device at home to create internet footprints while he killed his mother. This would be his alibi to the crime that he was soon to commit. The device was a timer that when it went off, the fan would turn on with a wooden spoon that would click enter which would later play YouTube videos. There was another device that was holding an iPad and an iPhone to send emails. There were pre-written emails that would be sent as a result of these devices. So he goes to his mother's house to confront her. The argument got heated and his mother called her other son, Christopher, to come over. While she was on the phone, Brett took his opportunity and rushed to the garage to get the crossbow. Brett then stabbed his mother with an arrow and then strangled her. Unfortunately, Christopher arrived a little too late. Once Brett noticed Christopher, Brett shot Christopher with an arrow which killed him. At this point, Alexandra also got to the scene and confronted Brett. He was also stabbed with an arrow and was found dead at the scene. It turns out that Leland was inside taking a nap this entire time. He got up after hearing all the noise and went outside to check and immediately ran back in the house for help. Brett then chased Leland, however Leland was able to escape and run across the street for help. This was the moment when Brett gave up and sat at the porch waiting for the police to arrive. Brett Ryan was sentenced to life in prison for the first degree murder in connection with the death of his brother Christopher. He was given two life sentences in prison for the murders of his mother and his brother Alexander and a 10 year sentence for the attempted murder of his brother Leland. Now, this is the end of the story, but please stay tuned for a channel update. First of all, I truly apologize for uploading this video late. I got a new mic and it really tested my patience. Also, for the next little bit, I will be posting once in two weeks. I got some family-related commitments coming up and I might actually be out of the country for a bit as well. However, I will get back to once a week schedule in the summer. Lastly, we passed 500 subscribers. It is so crazy that more than 500 people found some value you in this channel to click subscribe. I am so 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 grateful for every single one of you. I am still learning but my main goal is to bring you quality stories and content throughout 2022 and going forward. I will also be doing a small giveaway in the first video of March so stay tuned for that and as always I appreciate you and thank you for watching.